Bread is very much a part of our dining tables. It has invaded our breakfast and snack times. But when you buy bread, you are not actually buying a pav roti, but a potpourri of unhealthy ingredients. So why not bake a healthy bread at home with our homegrown yeast? Ravneet Bala loves her sado starter, which is almost 2.5 years old. Let's learn how to bake a healthy whole wheat bread at home without yeast. but with our natural homegrown yeast which gets 9 out of 10 for being a healthier alternative to store bought junk which has all things unhealthy join ravneet bhala in this healthy hamesha journey you will need a fresh sado starter about 1/4 cup of it you can check the description for ingredient list if you want to learn how to make your own yeast at home ask me in comments and 1/4 cup of water and mix both starter and water i love to add meat or fenugreek powder along with flax meal to my chapatis paranthas and bread dough because they keep a check on your blood sugar levels post meal if you don't want to add both ingredients that won't make any difference to the taste or texture of our indian sado bread now add salt you may add 1 teaspoon of jaggery powder here now it's time to stir in whole wheat flour or gehu ka atta this will be a soft dough add 1 teaspoon of oil to the dough and knead just like you need a chapati dough bread making need not be difficult it's quite easy swirl the dough a bit to give it a round shape let it sit in a bowl until it doubles if you want to bake the bread the same day keep the dough at room temperature but if you can wait then it is better to shift it to the refrigerator for the first rise you can keep this sado in fridge for 24 hours without it getting sour but i chose to bake the easy atta bread without yeast the same day so it sat on the counter undisturbed for 3 to 4 hours and rose taller and taller look at the proofed dough timing might vary so please do keep an eye on your dough let's proceed to the second part in bread making spread the dough with hands gently or using a rolling pin into a round or rectangular shape i made two loaves so gave one round and another rectangular shape Spread a layer of homemade herbed garlic butter and then top with fresh chopped coriander leaves for an extra dose of flavor. Shape the dough into a bread of the size of your bread tin. I bake breads in air fryer so I use this glassware for that purpose. It bakes mini loaves. Spread a layer of the garlic cheese on top of the bread and let it rest covered at room temperature and if you want the recipe of garlic cheese please ask me in comments. When it rises after 2 hours give it a milk wash and bake sado bread in air fryer at 180 degrees celsius for 40 minutes but please don't forget to preheat your air fryer to 200 degrees celsius for 5 minutes you can bake the bread in oven as well check after 30 minutes and give it a milk wash once again Once the atta bread is baked immediately covered with a moist cloth for at least 30 minutes and remove from the air fryer slice the atta bread upon cooling and enjoy the garlic bread as is or with kimchi i have shared the recipe of indian kimchi on the channel already do give it a try it is a probiotic and you will love the flavors give me bala a thumbs up if you think i deserve it for all the hard work i put in to bring healthy recipes to you one like is a kind of motivation to do better take care until we meet next bye bye see you soon